Hello everybody, it has been a while since I streamed last, uh, sorry about that, uh, but I'm back, I'm streaming, I've got my drawing tablet here, uh, ooh, look at that pressure variation, look at that, anyway, right, <laughs> so yeah, I, today, am going to be drawing characters that I have up for trade. Ah, hello, hi. Hello, Sticks. Stick, is it okay if I... I don't know how you shorten your username usually, but hello, hi. I'm gonna be drawing characters from my trade folder on Toy House, and we're starting off with this guy who I designed how long ago? Like a month and a half ago? I don't really like how the design for this one came out, but it's too late to change it because it's been posted to Toy House for a month and a half, so I guess I'm drawing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't know. Let's just start, I guess. It's been a while since I've streamed. I I've forgotten how to do it. <laughs> okay. If I can get a circle, that would be a great start. That will have to do. Okay. Then he's got sort of a... Let's just actually sketch the body out first. That's, that's a first for me. Actually sketching out the body, I never do that. <laughs> pose? What should I do for the pose? I don't know. Oh, thank you for the sub, Brie. I really appreciate it. Return thank you. Oh god, it's... Why is it doubled up? Anyway, thank you. I appreciate it. Smile. Anyway, so this guy, right? He's supposed to be like a yeti sort of thing, I guess? I don't know. He's just supposed to be a snow guy, I guess. He has stuff to do with snow and the cold. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really remember what my thought process was when designing him. Uh, I'm trying just to figure out what to do for the pose. I, just, I don't know. Short of just having him stand there, but that's not terribly exciting. Volume up on a stream preview somewhere? I mean... I don't know. I don't have it open on OBS. Uh, I on a Twitch, the stream thing. Uh, OBS maybe, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I might just have to have him be standing there. I don't know. It was, it's just to get the ball rolling, just to like start actually doing, you know, the art. You know? Hmm. <laughs> How do his paws go? Okay, whack. Why did I- why did I do any of his design like this? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Maybe it's just cause I made the design so I'm being hypercritical of it. Storage issues when streaming or recording? Uh, not when streaming, unless I like don't clear out the downloads folder for a while when I like save my VODs to upload to YouTube. Uh, for recording, I've never, like, properly recorded a thing to post, so I would not know. <laughs> but no, when I'm, like, saving my VODs to, uh, to this computer to upload on YouTube, just to have, like, an archive of them, if I don't clear out the folder for, like, a couple months, then it gets full. <laughs> But other than that, I can't say I really do. Because with streaming, there's not going to be many, like, device storage issues. Oh, I have done these so disproportionate. Yeah, with streaming, you're probably not going to have many 
uh, issues with like memory or with like storage space anyway. Because that's not being saved to your device, it's being streamed. Unless you're also recording it as you stream, which again, I've never done, so I can't speak as for how that works. I think that's looking a bit more proportional. Roughly the same size. Okay, it's sometimes Medibank. It's nope. I'm just I just forgot to change it to transparent. Okay. I was gonna say sometimes Medibank. It's this like weird issue where like it'll stop like being able to recognize the mouse if you've been using the tablet for a while. And I don't know why that happens, but it happens. You deal with it. It's fine. Okay. Arms are always tough to do, um, just because, like, I don't know how to pose them ever. Ever. Hmm, 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 hmm. Maybe I should just do sort of like, uh... something like that as, like, a placeholder. I mean, knowing me, it'll end up not being a placeholder and being, like, the full thing, but still, just to get something down. Okay, how's... Okay, can I, like, get it to look decent? Yeah, that'll have to do. <laughs> he does have claws, right? Yes, okay. I am remembering that correctly. I, like, there's always little details I m miss out on or get wrong when I'm drawing. <laughs> characters that I don't typically do. Even sometimes characters I do usually draw. Like, my, you would not believe how many times I've messed up my own Sona's design. It's, <laughs> it happens so frequently. I have an entire incorrect design tab on his toy house, and I think most of that's still drawn by me. <laughs> like, I just forget I forget sometimes. Hell, I think the thumbnail art for like a couple of my old Minecraft VODs has like his incorrect design on, you know, the thumbnail art. Oh right, he's got like a collar for some reason. Okay. Just clear out that space. How many spikes did I have? Four visible, okay. So now the, like, hood thing. All of us mess up. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I'm really bad about, like, characters with glasses. Like, I always forget the glasses. Like, it... In invariably. Like, I'll be drawing a character that's supposed to have glasses and they'll get, like, halfway through the piece and then I'll be like, oh shit, they have glasses. And then I'll have to, like, add that in and it never... <laughs> I'm not too great at, like, having that look decent when I patch it in. Usually because I draw eyes, like, so close together that it's difficult to... <laughs> How would I draw his horns from this angle? Just like... This? Let's give him a slight turn toward that side, I guess. I 
Honestly, I don't think this is turning out terribly so far. A little plain, but eh, we're just starting off the stream, so it's fine. Okay. Also, I haven't drawn this guy in literally a month and a half. That might have something to do with it. And he has no sort of a personality decided. I don't typically write up, like, personalities or lore or backstories for characters I'm selling. Unless, you know, they're characters that I used to, like, just have as, like, characters that I own and did stuff with. Uh, in that case, they might have... <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they'll have some, like, lore written up. But usually not. How did I do this? Okay, so I did it on both sides. Alright. <laughs> cool, cool. I think... Maybe that should be more out. I think that should be out a bit more. Yeah, that's looking a bit better. Oh, I'm on transparent still. Maybe I should have both of these visible. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh. You know what? I don't feel like listening to this song. I'm gonna skip it. I don't think I've ever skipped a, a song on my stream playlist before. But, hello? It's buffering. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I just did not feel like listening to Aridin's theme from the Homestuck album Alternia Bound. I just did not feel like it. <laughs> just not up for that right now. <laughs> it's so, like, disproportionately loud to the rest of the music on the playlist. I think I might just remove it, honestly. <laughs> oh well. Maybe another time. Okay, how's that looking? Sure, why not? That's fine. Alright, yeah, sure. That looks okay. <laughs> it's a good song. This some slaps. I first heard the song in game in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, when you get KK on your in your town, I guess, for the first time, uh, he doesn't let you pick what song you listen to and then get the record from. Uh, and this was the random song that I got because I couldn't pick. And you know what? It slaps. I'm not gonna complain about it. <laughs> yeah, I do need to add some more fluff in places, I think. He just needs to be a bit more fluffy. <laughs> Maybe I should add a bit more... Well, that's not the right color. There we go. Hmm, any bits I'm forgetting? I mean, I guess I technically did his mouth wrong, but that's fine. He doesn't have, like, cheek fluff of any sort? No, not really. I guess there's claws on his feet. Nope, let me get a not transparent brush. There 
and then this. And there's our line art. Well, hmm, hold on a second. Alright, there's our line art. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do colors now. Whoops, that was not intentional. I wonder how obvious it is when I switch between the mouse and the not the mouse, the uh, the, 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 the tablet. That's the one. That's what it's called. Got it. Got it in one. <laughs> <laughs> I keep accidentally clicking the line art. Like, it just. <laughs> it keeps happening. And I don't want it to keep happening. How was the inside of his mouth? I don't think I ever showed that, so. I guess it also can be this light blue color. And I didn't make the eyes, like, actual, like, complete circles, so... I think that'll look weird with the darker body, so... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, now for... The shading question mark, I guess. It's supposed to be sort of like, if I remember correctly, that? Yeah. And then in the mouth, I can just have that be the back of the mouth. Well, that's a bit too centered. And there's that. Cool, 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 cool. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot the hair. I forgot the hair. Hold on. That's an easy fix. I knew I was forgetting something. Okay. Right, and I still have to do, like, all this, too, so... That, that, and... That! How did I do the... Okay, I just did that. So let's just do that, question mark? That'll do. Yeah, why not? That works. I feel like that's most of my artistic process, is just looking at something and going, yeah, yeah, that works. Why not? Whoops. Okay, now for the highlights for these bits. Can add a bit of shine here. And like in all the places, pretty much. Now that is pure white, okay. I wasn't sure if I used pure white for that or not. Usually I don't. I try to avoid using pure white and black, except for like line art and eye whites. Usually. Not in this case, it seems. Now, this song also is from Poke Park Wii. I was like, is this from Splatoon? It's not from Splatoon, is it? Is it? But no, it's from Poke Park Wii. <laughs> okay. 
that's all done. Now for other colors. And that's the same color as the hair, right? It is. It is. <laughs> is there anything else that's that color? No, it's just those. Okay. Cool, cool. I don't know why I, like, half cell shaded the... No, that's not even shading, is it? That's like an actual marking. Okay. <laughs> For the hair, though, I definitely shaded that. Okay. <laughs> what way did I have that go? Okay, same way. Cool, cool. And yeah, that's it for this layer, I guess. Now for this part. What color is the back of that? Oh, that also is the- hold on. Back to, uh, what layer? This layer. Back to this layer real quick. Turn off lock alpha. And this bit I definitely also shaded. So I don't know why I only shaded some parts uh, on his ref. Like, I shaded the whole thing, but I'm using the unshaded version of the ref. Because the way I shaded it makes grabbing the actual colors impossible. Also, I forgot, like, these are also the- hold on. These ones I think I can just get away with filling in with the lighter color, because they're so small. Bap, 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 and bap. And the color is this color, which is not used anywhere- no, it's used here, okay. I was gonna say, is that not used anywhere else on the design? Why did I do that? If you haven't noticed, typically I like to have every color used in like at least two places on the design. The cheek spot color is the only like exception to that on this design, I think. Also, he has a shirt on under there? Okay, I forgot about that entirely. Hold on. <laughs> Back to the line work. It's a process. It's a process. <laughs> okay, so that goes th 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 there. And this is that color, so that goes here. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's just do this here. And... nope. Okay. Now for, like, the markings part. Typically I like to draw characters with, like, very small markings, if any. Really, I like to just not have any markings in general because I like to animate and I like to animate my characters and it e it's a lot easier to do that if they don't have markings at all. <laughs> Come on, let's get some spots in here. It would probably be easier to do that like, you know, after I uh, fill in the blue pit, blue part. That'll work for now. I say for now as if I plan to go back to it. I do not. <laughs> you know what, let's just get all this in and then do the spots later. <laughs> That's gonna be mostly that. That needs to be up a bit more. 
Okay, now spots. <laughs> I feel like when I'm trading for other people's characters, which like, I'm trying to cut down on the amount of characters I own, because, I don't know, I feel like I own too many. <laughs> And I don't use most of them. Uh, what was I saying? Right, when I'm trading for other people's characters, I tend to gravitate towards one with, like, a lot of extra art. So that's what I'm doing here, is I'm trying to get all of the OCs in my trade folder some extra art, so that maybe people will want to trade for them. Because, as it stands, Mmm, I don't like most of them. <laughs> That's why they're in the trade folder. And not inactive, which is... I have two folders for characters that I'm willing to trade. I have uh, four trade, which is the ones that I'm trying to just get rid of, that I have basically no attachment towards. And then I have inactive, which is like... Okay, I like these guys, but I don't have a use for them yet. Uh, or like they've fallen out of use after I've owned them for a while. Uh, but I'm still attached to them, so like I'm willing maybe to like look at offers on them, but I'm very hesitant to actually trade them. There's my explanation of my, <laughs> my trade folders on Toy House. Uh, all of the characters I'll be drawing today, I should mention, are probably gonna be from the for trade folder. Uh, I think I've done all the markings on this guy. Yeah. So let's shade this. So how I do soft shading is I do this, and then I do a clipping layer, and I don't turn it to multiply yet. I grab a very light shade of like some sort of blue range usually, then I grab my wet watercolor brush, and then I just go to town. And then I shade on the white layer. And it'll look halfway decent when it's done, ideally. <laughs> Not always, but typically it looks okay at least. Okay, do some of that, some of that. I'm going at this with a pretty thick brush just because I want to get to drawing other characters that I actually like to draw a bit more. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this guy. But I started with drawing him because he's the only one in my trade folder that does not yet have any extra art beyond his reference. So I figured, yeah, he, I probably should draw him, because otherwise I won't. <laughs> Okay, and then here is my music pause. Nope, it was just loading. I think the tail, honestly, I can just have entirely in shade. Like, I can get away with that. Eh, yeah, something like that, anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Now that I have all that in, I'm gonna take a white brush, still watercolor, same settings as before, and smooth everything out a little. It's not typically- like, it's not strictly necessary to do this, 
but I think it makes it look better usually, so I do it. Because <laughs> otherwise, it's like, it looks kind of cell shading-y. So, and that's kind of not what I'm going for. Yeah. Also, this song is, uh, I just add, well, not just, it was a while ago, but I added it to the stream playlist after the last time I streamed, so it's technically a new one. Because it's from Deltarune Chapter 2, which is the last thing I streamed on its release date. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I think we're good? Sometimes you gotta double up a bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that's good. Um, merge all. Select. Expand by three and round corners. Because three is my brush size today. Or at least for this piece. I don't know. I might change it later. So there's our outline, expand a bit more, crop, and save it. Uh, PNG, there we go. Cool, cool. On to our next guy, which I haven't decided who I'm gonna draw yet. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Let's sort by images least. And who hasn't gotten any art in a while? You haven't gotten any art in- well, you're also paid on me. Uh, <laughs> I haven't drawn you in a while. There we go, this guy! His name is Cirque, or however you pronounce the French word for circus. I think that's the French word? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's- I- sorry, it's been multiple years since I've been in the French class. <laughs> uh, I haven't drawn this guy since February, so it's been a while. <laughs> And I got him in, like, January, so... He's only been drawn by me once. I think I gotta go a bit smaller. <laughs> Listening to the... Chongo Show mashup album of Mad Rat Dead was a mistake, because... <laughs> Incapable. I am incapable of not singing the mashups in my head along to the songs whenever I listen to them. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe I should make an anthro form of this guy. Like, his design will be exactly the same, except he'll be on two legs. But. I don't know, maybe I should do that. I think that'd be fun. Plus, then I can put his trade listing as having both a, a furry form and an anthro or, well, an anthro form and a feral form. That's what I was trying to say. There we go. So, you know. More, more people might be willing to, like, look at them when they're searching for characters to trade for. That's my thought process. His initial ref is, like, a little vague. I'll paste it in now. Like, mostly I'm just not sure if this is supposed to be, like, hold on. That's the eraser. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like wings or if it's just supposed to be like fur on his back. I interpreted it as wings because I think that's cute. I like it when characters have wings. As one might be able to guess from my Sona, <laughs> who 
very definitely usually has wings. Something like that. Uh, he doesn't have any visible, like, inside of his ears, so... I'll just go, I guess. Okay. Let's sketch out the body real quick so I can actually, like, have an idea of what I'm doing here. He'll be just floating there in this one, but I have an excuse for it this time. Uh, that being, he has wings and is, like, he just seems like he'd have the ability to do that, you know? Like, it, but, like, look at him and tell me this guy can't float. He can float if he wants to, you know? <laughs> Okay, come on. Typically, I don't, like, give my anthro characters digitigrade legs. Sometimes I do. Not terribly frequently, though. Hmm, <laughs> Sometimes I kind of want to just toss my, uh, my trade folder <laughs> in to draw the character above you and see what people pick. Because, <laughs> like, I want to get these guys extra art anyway. I might as well have someone else do it. <laughs> no, usually I want to draw them myself because, like, I don't know. I just like to draw them myself, you know? Put the work in. <laughs> I'm giving this guy basically exactly the same pose as last time, except with a different expression. Oh well. <laughs> One of my many weaknesses as an artist, I guess, is posing. I really do need to get better at it. <laughs> oh well. For now, this will have to do. Maybe I'll, like, put his hand in a different pose. That doesn't look right. That was a leg of the table that just fell. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> let me let me grab that real quick. There we go. Got it. Uh he doesn't have visible paw pads, but that just means I can decide what color they are. if I can, like, draw them correctly. Come on. You know what that'll do. And his tail. Also, I need to add his wings. Okay, clean that up a bit. Cool. I haven't streamed Minecraft in so long. I need to do that. It's been a while. I don't know why I haven't done it even.
that doesn't look right. That's better. That looks a bit better. Alrighty. Now for coloring. First off, what can I just fill tool? Honestly, not a whole lot for this guy. This is a good song. I, the whole Matter at Dead soundtrack is like really good, honestly. Okay, so this side is the blue one. Yes, he's got the blue toes here, so I shall give him red paw pads on the side. Also, I might as well use that color for the inside of his mouth, too. Alright. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> A good song. Did I use pure white? I did not. Okay. <laughs> that one actually I will do concave I mean I guess whether it's concave or convex depends on perspective nope hold on it's uh, the colors are flipped this side okay Oh, bumps the mic a bit. Alrighty, that works. Carve out a bit of the blue next to it. Alrighty, that works. Also, I need to do this part. <laughs> cool, cool. Honestly, I like this guy. He's pretty neat. I like him a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, flicked over to check his design and then I forgot what I was checking for. Cool, cool. <laughs> and the top of that is like halfway up here. 
halfway up here. Actually, I can actually use the right click on this computer. The right click on the tablet pen doesn't work on the other computer for some reason, so... Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, there's a bit I forgot. There we go. Now there's just various spots on his tail. <laughs> All right, cool. And once again, I'm gonna shade the sky. I'm gonna do like a purple for this one. Usually I do sort of a purple. I did blue on the last guy because he was like already a pretty, pretty blue range character. I'm not really sure of a how to like shade wings properly like this like this type of wings I've only done it once before and it like half worked so like I'm taking this as an opportunity to practice it all right <laughs> Also, I want to play through, like, a Pokemon randomizer on my channel at some point. I don't know what game I'd do. Or how randomized it would be, for that matter. Yeah, I don't know how his fur works. <laughs> I'm trying my best out here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's not a whole lot to... <laughs> commentate on during this part. I'm just sort of going at it. I think for this guy, though, I'll also do like a shade layer, or a highlight layer, I mean. Which I will go through later. works. I also gotta add a bit of shading under this, too. I mean, I guess I don't have to, but it would, like, make it look better. <laughs> funny how I cannot hum along to the song, but I I do know the instrumental by heart by this point, basically.
<laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I just feel like, oh, I'm, I'm being too silent. If someone pops in, they'll just assume I don't have a mic on and leave. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> I'm just trying the best out here. Alright, let's turn that to multiply and see how we're doing. I think this does need a shade layer. So what I do for shade layer, or highlight layer, I keep mixing it up. Uh, what I do is I do all black, and then I go to add, and then I select the darkest color on the character's palette usually, or just a dark version of a character on the color's palette if they don't have anything particularly dark. And then I go back to my watercolor brush, my watercolor brush, I don't know why I said it like that. Um, and then I just start doing highlights. Because, <laughs> like, that's already, like, a, a pretty strong highlight, even with just, like, as dark of a color as that was, you know? And then to smooth it out, I do basically the same thing I've been doing with the uh, uh, multiply layers, except I do it with black instead of white to, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I like to not use pure white on characters' designs, because, look at that, you can actually see the highlights. <laughs> at least I can. I don't know how much that's coming across on stream. Uh, but yeah, then I just, like, smooth it out a bit. Maybe tone down some of the more, like, excessive ones, too. And just go over it again, basically. I think that looks all right. He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Hmm, should I color the line work for this guy? I think I shall. All right, so let's go back to our pencil brush. Is that... I think that's too dark. Yeah, that's better. I say, choosing the same color. <laughs> a bit hard to tell when you're zoomed out that it's like a different color, but... Oh well. It looks fine. <laughs> I guess I'm doing the outside lines too, so... Like, because the outside lines were the first things I did for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I do only, like, the lines on the inside of the drawing. Not always, but sometimes. <laughs> Gotta clean that up a bit. 
There's not that much of the uh, gray on this guy, actually. Well, I mean, there's like a lot of gray. It's like a third of his design, but you know, it's it's like pretty consolidated and like, like yeah, <laughs> it's not very spread out across his design, is what I mean to say. Okay, I think that's all of it. So, now we take the red color. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of the red and blue that's like against the lines. There's a bit though. But no, I like how this piece is coming out. <laughs> oh, I'll have to clean that up. Hold on. There we go. But yeah, I don't know, I like coloring the lines. It, like, adds to the art, I feel like. Gives it a vibe. Alright, now we do much the same thing for the blue. little blushy marks. Don't really know what the proper name for those would be. If there is one, there might not be. <laughs> there may not be. Just little detail lines, I guess. Is that all? No, there's some here. Okay. I was like, that can't be all the blue. I have to be forgetting something. Oh, I think the only thing left now is the white. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I tend to get pretty lazy with the uh, last last color that I do for the line force because I can afford to. I can afford to get a little bit lazy. Yeah. There we go. There's a boy. One boy, freshly created. Expand three. Do our little outline trick again. Expand again. Crop. And there's our guy. Sirk. Save image. Cool, cool. Okay, who to draw next? <laughs> oh, someone's posted a bulletin. On Toy House. It's not something that applies to me at all, so... <laughs> Uh, who should we draw? Who should we draw? Who has two images and has not gotten drawn by me for a while? Well, this one has three images, but I think it's close enough. It's this one, the... Huh. I thought the creator was... okay. I thought this one had an amino creator listed, but it does not. Okay. It is trade only though, so. Oh well. I just sent my tablet pen entirely across the desk. Oh well. Let's draw this character who I acquired. I'll have to check the ownership tab for this one. I acquired in January and drew January 4th and have not drawn since, so <laughs> let's go! 
I like almost a year's worth of progress with my art. <laughs> yep, that's too big. <laughs> I think this character's cute. I just will not use them at all. Now, I guess the reason why I was hesitant to trade them was because, uh... They were in my pending folder for, like, half a year, and the person who offered on them and then I accepted their offer just never got back to me about it, so I took them out of pending because it had been so long. I think for this one I'll, I actually will have the, air, uh, the hair covering the eyes. Typically I have the eyes visible through the hair just because it's cute. Uh, but I think for this one it'll be cuter to be- hello? Okay. Oh god, is it- oh, it's doing that thing again. Oh. Hold on, I, I gotta close and reopen Medibang because it's doing a weird glitch thing that it does sometimes that makes it unnecessarily hard to draw. Okay, new canvas. Paste this in. Uh, gotta copy this character's reference again. Okay, back to size 3. How's this? How's this? Okay. Cool and good. That doesn't look right. I think if I just do this, that'll be better. Yeah. No, I think this character is really cute, actually. Not a character I would use for anything, but I think they're cute. But yeah, I think it's nice to uh, just go through and draw characters from my trade folder every once in a while, because I like never get drawn otherwise. So yeah, I like to do it. Also, it helps that like by posting the art to Toy House, I'm reminding people who follow me there that like, hey, this character exists, you can offer on it. Baby, do that, please. Please, I'm, I'm begging. Please, please. Yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> I don't know why this character just looks like so different. how I'm drawing them now. I don't know what it is. I think it's like just generally the proportions are different maybe? Yeah, like the snout's smaller I think is mainly what's doing it.
Am I gonna have to look up a reference for this? I want him to be doing, like, the little heart hands thing, you know? And I don't know... how. <laughs> I might have to look up a reference. Okay. Let's make a sketch layer. What a sketch layer, am I right, lads? <laughs> See, cause that's just like a diamond, right? They have hooves, so they don't really have joints, they can't do the shape that's kind of necessary for the hearts. So I might just have to do something different, and I've closed out my chat, hold on. Let me open that back up real quick. Okay, it's good, it's fine, I got it, it's fine. Alright, yeah. Hmm, let's think of something else. I just have them be doing a little wave. Yeah, I think that's cute. I'll still keep the little heart exclamation points because those are cute. I like them. Come on, there they go. They do have long hair, it looks like. I might change that. I think that's cuter than like the full long hair. In my opinion, anyway. I guess whoever trades for the design can decide for themselves. <laughs> And like, yeah, this thing is on the other side, but like, on the even older art than that, uh, it's on both sides, so... Man, I changed their design from the original more than I thought I did. Oh well. I think that one's good. This one I want to change. Come on, can I get something decent looking? Hmm. 
No, I cannot. I don't know how to draw degenerate legs good, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm giving up. I'm giving up. I'm not making them degenerate. I'll just have to clean up that, like, one pixel myself. <laughs> Tail, my beloved. It's a good game. Hmm? Strange noises coming from the highway. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. I think it can do without the motion lines. I think it's fine. I think this is coming out really cute. Come on. There it goes. Line width. Yeah, I like to add, like, I don't know where I was going, yeah, little, like, details to the side, especially when the character has, like, one color that's, like, barely used. I like to do it in that color. Just to, like, you know, add a bit more of that color to the design. I think I'll change the color on the box to that, actually. Because it's like peach. It's a peach. It might have been supposed to be strawberry in the original, but it's a peach. I think I'll also just change the character's design a bit in general, really. No, that's a- why is that a different color? Hello? Why is this a different color? I'm making him the same as the horn. I also might make the horn a, just a tad bit lighter. Just to contrast a bit more. Mm, but now that's like too close to that, I feel, so. Somewhere in between the two? Ah, but now that's too close to that again, I think. Hmm. So, like, if I make it just a tad bit lighter? Yeah, that's distinguishable. Ah, but now it's, like, the same as that again. Oh, why is it so difficult? <laughs> why is it like this? You know what? I might just make them the same as the collar, then. If going lighter won't help, then I'll go darker. And I'll make the wings the same color as the face, because why weren't they originally? <laughs> why were they, like, yellow? Um, 
All righty. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I see, I see. There's a lot about this design that vexes me. <laughs> Like, let me check the art. Was the wings being yellow? Yeah, okay, that was a thing from the original design. Fascinating. Needs like a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do for now. I don't think I'm gonna shade this one. I do not feel like it. Three round corners. Should I do a green outline for this one? Would that be cute? Eh, white's better. Yeah, white's better. Mm. Alright. Save that. else should I draw now? Well, I guess there's the other guy that was also trade only that hasn't been drawn since November 2020. Wow. And I got him in September 20. I got this guy over a year ago. And I've only drawn him once. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> oh, well, that's the guy. Hold on, I gotta have my stuff in the right order. Yeah, it's this guy, designed by our very own Sugar Buck. I still like him. I just have not been able to use him. At all. You know what? I'll do the reverse of the thing that I did for Cert, where, like, he was a feral and I drew him as Anthony. For this one, he is Anthony, and I may draw him as a feral. Why not? Now, how am I gonna transfer most of these designs to a uh, to a f most of these markings to a to a feral, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I'll figure it out. I'll manage, I'm sure. I need to add more Lemon Demon songs to my stream playlist. There's a good few instrumentals I could add, especially from the uh, bonus tracks for some of the, the albums. There's a couple I'm thinking of. Maybe I'll do that today. Who knows? Not I. I haven't decided yet. God, what an expression. I love him. I don't know why I add those lines, like, even if the character isn't blushing, or at least not supposed to be. 
I don't know, I just think it's cute. He's gonna be sort of a long boy. Tiny little paws. Just cause it's cute. Yeah, I don't draw ferals too often, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> He's just kind of a long boy. I don't know why I made him so long. See, because like, he already has the whiskers making that sort of triangle shape, so I feel like doing that would be a little bit redundant. Maybe I'll change how I do the whiskers then. Yeah, that's cute. I don't know, not a- I have- I've run out of steam, I don't know what to talk about now. I don't know. But yeah, I got this guy from a design trade, I think? Like, I designed a trade- yes, I designed a trade. I designed a character for him, he designed a character for me, in return this is the guy he designed for me. I believe. It's been a year. Over, over a year. I don't remember. Okay. Markings. Let's go back to size 3 real quick. <laughs> then there's... yes, the ears are... There's my boy. There he is. And then there's also a couple of the teal spots here. I really like how this is turning out so far. I don't know what it is. Okay, well that one I can... The tail I can just do now. I think that's my music pause, and I've accidentally opened Google Chrome. Cool. Okay. Back to this. <laughs> Whoops. 
Gotta remember to turn on lock alpha. <laughs> Alright, so there's spots. Just various places. I don't know if it matters too much where exactly they are. What did I... Fascinating. Okay. Why is that an option? I don't know if you can see the little right-click menu that popped up when that happened. <laughs> There's an option if you right-click on the scroll bar to scroll right, and it scrolls you right by, like, a pixel. Fascinating. Not even, like, a pixel of the canvas, like, a pixel of your screen. Which is... wild. <laughs> okay, so there's this tail done. I think that'll do. to add the paw lines for these. I thought I did that, but it seems I did not. There we are. There's our layer. Is that the wrong way around? That's the wrong way around. Hold on. There we are. Then on the other leg, there's also one going the opposite direction. How does this work? Something like that, maybe? I think. Then for each of his paws, he has little triangles. He has triangles for markings, and he likes to touch things with his teeth. <laughs> I like how this is coming out so far, honestly. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I think he should have some spots on his back too. Just cause. Makes the design feel a bit more complete, I think. And that's about it for this guy's design. Does he 
he have any? I guess he does have a few spots on his head too, of the of the light cream ones. No, like of the sparkle markings or anything. Those, but he does have a couple. I don't feel like shading this guy either, so I'll call that good. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of that, too. Just a bit of eye shine there. You can barely tell it's there, but <laughs> trust me. Dude, trust me. <laughs> what was his name? I've forgotten his name. Uh, does he have a name? I don't remember. Alder. It's Alder. Didn't even have to look at the folder. It didn't load in time. <laughs> okay, right. I did save that, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's let's figure out who else to draw now. <laughs> who do I want to draw is the question. You. Did I change their design at all? I think I just made the horn bigger. Okay. This is a character I've drawn once. Well, I've drawn them twice, technically. The first time was on a base, because they were a base adopt for a gasha thing I was doing. Got like two sales out of 30 characters, I'd call that a success. <laughs> anyway, this is the guy. I like him. He's pretty clearly based off of Shiny Dragonair, uh, which is one of my favorite shiny forms in Pokemon. I can't give you a top favorite, I'd have to look at some more of them and get back to you on that. But it's up there. It's up there, definitely. Yeah, I don't know what type of, like, what people prefer when they're looking for OCs with extra art. I don't even know what I prefer when I'm looking for things <laughs> with extra art. <laughs> like, are they looking for, like, general art that can be taken to fit, like, any character's personality, or are they looking for art that's, like, pretty clearly, like, hey, this character has this personality? I don't know. Kind of hard to do the latter one when, like, none of the characters I'm drawing have set personalities, but, yeah, you know. <laughs> That needs to be- honestly, I think I made the horn a bit too big. I think I made it a bit too big. So let me... That's still too big, I think. That's better. Yeah, that's better. A more reasonable size.
Yeah, I didn't plan any of that as I was drawing it. I just sort of went. <laughs> Like, the only bit of that that I thought of doing beforehand was the second cheek spot. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. Also, I've been- I, I was handed some grapes earlier, so... I may occasionally partake in a grape as I draw. Yay, an excuse to not have to talk occasionally. <laughs> Clearly the, the the best thing for a streamer to be looking for. Maybe I'll do the sky at, like, a bit of an angle? Mm. What is my cat doing? <laughs> I just see a single paw just curling around the edge of the bed. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, hi! What's up? I love you! Baby! She is not <laughs> participating in this at all. Did my music get pu- nope. As soon as I ask. I think I'm gonna change the proportions a bit in like the cheesiest way possible. And in the cheese sense here is like when you... maybe cheese wasn't the correct word. I, I mean it like in a video game when you cheese a boss by like beating it unfairly, that sort of cheese. <laughs> the cheatiest way possible. That's more like what I was looking for. Come on. Proportions, man. They're difficult. <laughs> that looks a bit better. Trying my best to get a tail that looks like halfway decent. And it's not going great, honestly. Hmm. 
Is that as good as I'm going to be able to get it? <laughs> it might be. It might be. <laughs> right, there's a bunch of stuff in here that's like gold shaded. Well, that's the line work. Okay, yes, line work is still good. Hold on. There we go, that's a bit better. Is that pillow shading y? And eh, we'll try it out. We'll see how it works. Hold on. Little bit there I neglected to fill in. Alright, now for the highlights. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that actually looks really good on the horn. <laughs> I was not expecting it to turn out that good, honestly. Huh. The thing that I have my water bottle on almost fell over. I mean, it's capped, so it wouldn't matter too much, but... <laughs> you know. Oh! Oh! Thank you so much for the raid! Oh, I really appreciate it! Oh my god! Lovely Shadow King, thank you for the raid! It means a lot to me. Uh, hi there, I'm Rudelated Quartz. Uh, I do mainly art nowadays, but I also do like to stream Minecraft on occasion. Uh, currently I am drawing a couple characters that I have up for trade or sale. This is the one I'm drawing right now. I've also drawn... <laughs> You're not a part of the <laughs> Well, welcome to the stream nonetheless! Uh, I can show you some of the other art that I've made... Uh, today. Just like... A few pieces, you know? Uh, we're just working on color in this guy right now. I think I will shade this guy. But hello, hi. Thank you so much for the raid again. I really appreciate it. Oh, weird. I had that as a... No, that is the dark color that I've grabbed. What am I talking about? Okay, hold on. Oh well, thank you again. I I've said thank you a bunch, but still, it, it 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 means a lot to me. It's first time I've been rated in quite some time. Second time I've been rated ever. So thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, how? do these markings go because I haven't drawn the sky so when is the last time I drew this guy actually uh oh August okay that's not nearly as long as I thought it was <laughs> now most of these guys that I've drawn I haven't drawn since like god a while like a year <laughs> <laughs> okay, and 
Okay, those are pretty simple markings. Hello? Okay, I don't know what that was about. Just was not registering my pen for a second. Boop. And clean that up a bit. Oh, there's a stray pixel here I didn't fill in. Narwhal? Oh, is the character- Honestly, I don't know what species this character is supposed to be, other than that, like, they're loosely based off of Shiny Dragonair from Pokemon. A lot of my characters, I have no idea what species they're supposed to be. I- <laughs> And that's the way I like it. I just like it when characters don't have a specific species. It's fun. Really? I thought I would have had a, like some sort of marking on the belly here, but I guess I did not. <laughs> Is that it? Really? Yeah, I guess that's the entire design, okay. <laughs> well, on to shading then. I think I'm gonna do cell shading for this guy. That can stay on a different layer. The way that I do cell shading typically is I take a color that'll be very obvious against whatever it is I'm shading. And then I'll just do the shading, like where the shading would be, and I'll worry about the colors later. <laughs> what? My cat's upset. Why are you upset? Is it because you're in the bedroom? Yeah? I don't know if you guys can hear her or not. <laughs> but she is very upset, and I don't know about what. You're, you're still on my bed. I don't know what it is you're upset about. Okay. <laughs> if she jumps off the bed, I'll get up to let her out of the bedroom. <laughs> can use it as a horn to summon more creatures. I mean, I guess there's other ways to summon creatures, I think. <laughs> also, I don't think it's picking- I mean, I guess I can look in OBS, but if you hear me chewing, it's because I have a bowl of grapes next to me. <laughs> So sorry about that. Okay. I think my cat's gonna make me let her out of the bedroom in a second. Oops, that's the wrong side of that line. Hi! Do you have pets? Nope, she does not. She just wants to be let out of the bedroom. Alright, be back in... A second. <laughs> oh. oh, I dropped my- I dropped the headphones, okay. <laughs> Cat has successfully escaped the bedroom. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is gonna 
take a while to get a good line on. I guess that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as drawing the thing was. Ghost angle? I don't know. Okay. So now... Sorry, I'm eating a grape. Hold on. So now how I'm gonna do the shading is I'll get my fill bucket and just fill in the shading on that color with the with the color. Yep. <laughs> Alright. I think there's only like three colors I gotta get shade colors for, so. Deltarune is such a good soundtrack. It's a great game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I also need to color in those blush marks when I get a moment. I think I might have went too dark on the shade color. Oh well, that's what the opacity setting is for. Alright. So now this will be pretty easy, honestly. Just gotta do that, and then do that, and there we go! That doesn't look right, the color on the blush mark. If I do that, is that better? What if I just do the shade color? That's honestly probably our best option here. Yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. I gotta add eye shine. There we go. Merge all layers. Select. Expand. Do our little outline doodle. Band again, crop, and there we go, there's our art. Oh, file name already taken. Okay, let's figure out who to, who to draw next. Thank you, I'm glad you think it's cute. As I believe I said earlier, all of the characters I'm I'm drawing today are up for trade or sale or etc. You can offer on them, basically, <laughs> if you desire to own one. Hmm. <laughs> trade? Yeah, most of them are up for trade. Actually, I think all of them are up for trade. It's just that some of them I can't sell. But yeah, I can drop the link real quick in chat, actually. There you can see all of the characters and then some. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to draw this guy? You know what, I don't know if I'll have time to draw this guy correctly. So, let me pick someone else. <laughs> You know what? You're pretty simple. 
How about this one? This is an old adoptable that I made. Uh, hold on, let me check. I made a couple months ago. Trying to vaguely mimic another artist's style. Um, it, I, I don't think I was successfully mimicked the style, but I think the art turned out okay. All of this line variation I should mention was done with a mouse and it took, like, so long. It took so long to do the line art like this. But yeah, so... You know what, I actually do have a pose in mind for this one. For this character. Usually I don't have a pose in mind, but this time I do. It's a miracle. <laughs> hmm. If I can get the lines to cooperate with me, at least. That doesn't look quite right. I think it's too curved near the end. Is that a bit better? Yeah, I think that's better. Come on. There it goes. Oh, excuse me, goodness. I also maybe should draw the thing she's leaning on. That's kind of an important part of the piece. If you haven't noticed by now, I don't sketch a whole lot. <laughs> I just go straight into the line art. And it's it's a blessing and a curse. Blessing part means that I can do a lot of art very quickly, and that's good for like animating, which is something I'm also partial to doing. Selling beans? I guess you could describe it like that, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's also like not doing a proper sketch is also a curse in that like one it gets really messy if I'm trying to figure out what's going on when I actually do do sort of a sketch. And also, like it's very difficult to like fix broken anatomy. But like 
if I do it right the first time, then it's fine, so... <laughs> Hey, is my music paused? Just buffering. It is just buffering. Okay. Something I gotta ask, because YouTube automatically pauses music for some reason sometimes. And I don't like how it does that. <laughs> so awkward when the music just doesn't come back. <laughs> there it is. You just gotta complain about it. That's the secret to getting it working again. I think I need to change the shape of the ear tufts to make them match. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, how does the hair go again? I need to remind myself. Is that good? Yeah, that works. That works, that's fine. <laughs> Why? Well, <laughs> Watsonian reason for why they're being sold is whatever you desire it to be. Doylist reason is because I don't use them and I feel like I have too many characters, so I want to get rid of some. Hopefully going to someone who would like use them a bit more. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, I did also have a, ba a bit of back to the hair. Just a bit on the back there. Speaking of hair, I need to get mine cut. I haven't gotten it cut since, like, February 2020. <laughs> it's been a while. I need to do it. <laughs> it's been so long since I've gotten my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Friday Night Funkin' time, I guess, okay? <laughs> the wonders of having a playlist be on shuffle. <laughs> I say, like, okay a lot as a space filler, I've noticed, when I just don't have anything else to say, but I want to remind people that I do have a microphone and it is on. <laughs> oh well, it works, I guess.
Okay, then she had her sleeves kind of half rolled up. Or, like, scrunched up, as it were, I guess. Point is, sleeves up. <laughs> That's what matters. And she also had that, just like a cuff on the sweater she's wearing. Okay. Right, right, she has big ol' boots. And in case it's not clear by now, I'm not great at remembering features of designs. <laughs> Hello? Buffering. Okay. I say this in, like every time a, a different song, co a different, a song from a different game soundtrack comes on on my playlist. God, Mad Rat Dead has such a good sound. <laughs> this that song from that rat game. It sure is, but it sure is. <laughs> it is one of many songs from said rat game. Okay, the handle didn't have any sort of details to it. I still need to 100% Mad Rat Dead. I haven't got at it in a while. I need to get a, a decent rank on the final boss. That's the only one I, I have yet to do on normal difficulty. <laughs> then I gotta do all of them on hard difficulty again. Uh, and that's gonna be hell. <laughs> Especially in the later levels. Oh right, she also had her pant legs a bit scrunched because of the boots. God, this song is so good. It's one of one of my favorites from the OST. All right, I think. Hold on. That's it for line art. Hmm. I don't know if I want to shade this one or not. I'll figure it out later. I love the mood whiplash that this playlist makes you go through when it's on shuffle. Like, yeah, sure, Mad Rat Dead, Final Boss music. That's not what the song was, by the way, it was not the Final Boss. <laughs> but like, you get Mad Rat Dead, Final Boss music immediately followed by Poke Park Wii for the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> it's great. I love it, unironically. Nope, there's a gap here. Thankfully, most of the character's design is just, you can just use the fill tool for it. It's fine. Whoops. Whoops! Why was I on layer for a minute there? Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like the art. I'm drawing this character. I don't know if I've 
zoomed out since you sent that message, but that's the character I'm drawing. Also, I'm still working on these grapes. <laughs> Whoops, hold on. Lock Alpha. There we go. The shade, the shadow here isn't really a marking. I, like, I don't know. I guess it'll be decided by the person who, like, buys this character. <laughs> But, like, I think of it as, like, more of a, an effect than anything. And then, how many stripes are there? There are three. Including the base and the end. A raccoon? I mean, it was just supposed to be sort of a general dog thing, but... <laughs> Again, my my art style is very vague with regard to species, so like, I guess whoever buys this character can decide for themselves what the species is. Mario Galaxy, yeah, I... I had more Mario Galaxy songs on my playlist than there currently is, but, uh, DMCA, <laughs> so... I had to remove some of them, because I don't want to get copy striked. <laughs> okay, then there's... Stripe Pixel here. Okay, that's how I did it. Right, 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 right. Do I just have the same- I have the same color selected. That's why it wasn't doing anything when I was drawing. <laughs> oh, that's- not okay, I was doing that wrong. Okay. There we go. Does that look right? Yeah, I suppose so. Only thing is I'd like to add a little bit of shine to the hair. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think I'm good not shading this one, save for just like a little bit here. Yeah, I think that's good. In fact, it'll have to be good because I have to get to end and stream. So let me just finish up the final touches on this, which is, that's it. That's all of them. Oh, King Catbox, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for tuning in, and for everyone who, stick, who stuck with me after the raid, uh, let's go find someone to raid ourselves. Uh, gotta open Twitch and pause the autoplay video and look for, I guess, anyone just streaming art. <laughs> How about you? Oh, they're doing sort of a comic thing. Alright, that'll work.
If I can raid them? Yes, there we go. Well, thank you for tuning in, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hope you had a good time, and uh, yeah, see ya.